Hello everyone and welcome to another Animal Crossing New Horizons update. Today we're going to be looking at all the fish, bugs and deep sea creatures leaving at the end of November. Now today is the 1st of November so we've got a whole month from this point to catch anything on this list that you haven't caught already. Before I dive into the video as always please do leave a like, leave a comment and hit subscribe if you haven't already. I drop these videos out on the 20th of the month and the 1st of the month for all the arriving and leaving creatures but I do all kinds of content. I do horror games, I do VR games I just love games so stick around and check some other bits out right let's jump into the video and kick things off with the northern hemisphere first up are the fish that are leaving at the end of November in the northern hemisphere the cherry salmon is a shadow size 3 can be caught all day long can be found on cliff top rivers and ponds that's the elevated water on your islands and is worth 1000 bells the char is a shadow size 3, can be caught all day long, again found in clifftop rivers or ponds, and is worth 3,800 bells. The golden trout is a shadow size 3, can be caught between 4pm and 9am, is found specifically in clifftop rivers, so not ponds, just rivers, and is worth 15,000 bells. The mitten crab is a shadow size 2, can be caught between 4pm and 9am, found in rivers, and is worth 2,000 bells. The guppy is a shadow size 1, can be caught between 9am and 4pm, found in rivers and is worth 1,300 bells. The neon tetra is a shadow size 1, can be caught between 9am and 4pm, found in rivers and is worth 500 bells. The seahorse is a shadow size 1, can be caught all day long, is found in the sea and is worth 1,100 bells. The bizarrely named Zebra Turkey Fish, I have no idea who named it that, is a shadow size 3, can be caught all day long, is found in the sea and is worth 500 bells. The Barred Knife Jaw, which looks a lot more like a zebra fish to me, is a shadow size 3, can be caught all day long, found in the sea and is worth 5,000 bells. And finally for the Northern Hemisphere, the Ray. It's a shadow size 5, can be caught between 4am and 9pm, is found in the sea and is worth 3,000 bells. 10 fish leaving at the end of November in the Northern Hemisphere, let's jump over and check out the bugs. Kicking us off for the bugs is the Monarch Butterfly, can be caught between 4am and 5pm, found flying around in the air and is worth 140 bells. The Long Locust can be caught between 8am and 7pm, found on the ground and is worth 200 bells. The Migratory Locust can be caught between 8am and 7pm, found on the ground and is worth 600 bells. The Rice Grasshopper can be caught between 8am and 7pm, found on the ground and is worth 160 bells. The Cricket can be caught between 5pm and 8am, found on the ground and is worth 130 bells. The Mantis can be caught between 8am and 5pm, found on flowers and is worth 430 bells. The Orchid Mantis can be caught between 8am and 5pm, found on white flowers specifically, and is worth 2,400 bells. The Violin Beetle can be caught all day long, found on tree stumps, and is worth 450 bells. The Walking Stick can be caught between 4am and 8am, then again between 5pm and 7pm, is found on tree trunks, and is worth 600 bells. And finally, the flea can be caught all day long, is found on itchy villagers, that's villagers complaining of being itchy, you then hit them with your net, and it's worth 70 bells. Again, 10 creatures there leaving in the bugs department in the Northern Hemisphere this November, one month to catch them all, let's check out the deep sea creatures. Only one deep sea creature leaving at the end of November in the Northern Hemisphere, and that is the Gazami Crab. Shadow size medium, can be caught all day long, has a fast movement pattern and is worth 2,200 bells. That's 21 creatures leaving in total at the end of November in the Northern Hemisphere. Make sure you round them up, you've got a month from today. Let's jump over and check out the Southern Hemisphere. Okay, starting off with the fish, there's three fish that are leaving. First one is the loach, shadow size 2, can be caught all day long, found in rivers and is worth 400 bells. The golden trout is a shadow size 3, can be caught between 4pm and 9am, found in clifftop rivers and is worth 15,000 bells. And finally the oarfish is a shadow size 6, can be caught all day long, found in the sea and is worth 9,000 bells. That's all the fish, let's jump over and check out the bugs. Just one bug leaving at the end of November in the Southern Hemisphere, and that is the exceptionally annoying Mole Cricket. Can be caught all day long, is found underground, you find it by listening out for that annoying noise, little kind of clicking noise, and you dig when you think you're closest, and it's worth 500 bells. That's the only bug leaving at the end of November for the Southern Hemisphere. 
Our final stop today is the deep sea creatures leaving at the end of November in the southern hemisphere and again there's just one creature leaving which is the Dungeness crab. Shadow size medium, can be caught all day long, has a moderate consistent movement pattern and is worth 1,900 bells. Just five critters leaving at the end of November in the southern hemisphere so not a huge amount for you guys to catch on the run up to Christmas. Yes that's right, it's very nearly Christmas. And that's everything for this update, quite a brief one, not a lot of things leaving at the end of November, more in the Northern Hemisphere than there are in the Southern Hemisphere, but not a huge amount for anyone to round up this month. Hope you enjoyed, as always, please do leave a like, leave a comment and hit subscribe if you enjoy the content. I'll see you on the 20th of November for the December update. I cannot believe it's almost December, absolutely insane. I'll see you all soon, take care.